Hey y'all, it's soldiers. Ow, ow, ow. And I'm back with the end of that video. Back, she went to y'all. Say that you love me if we talking like that. Ah, straight from real. Uh -huh. She made me wonder how she do it like that. Alright, y'all, I did not film an intro for this video, and I don't understand why, because I have so much fucking footage. But anyways, I clearly did not film an intro, because I can't find it anywhere. This whole entire video is if you want to make your own um, headboard, basically. I took my old headboard. I will pop a picture up right here. I took my old headboard and basically turned it into a whole brand new headboard. I wanted this super slick, like, clean, natural vibe. As you can see in the back right here, this is what it looks like. Um, that's the vibe that I wanted my headboard to be. And um, they were all, like, four, five hundred, a thousand dollars And I was just was not doing it because there is no reason for me to spend that much money on a headboard when I already had a three, four hundred dollar headboard that I could just recover with fabric. So that's what I did and I showed you guys all the steps to do it. So you can continue watching this video if you want to do this at home because trust me, it may seem like it's such a big project in your head. And yes, it did take a few times, you know, a few trial and errors, but once we figured, finally figured it out and that's what we show you guys, it was completely so easy to do. Show you what I'm working on right now. Um, it's currently Sunday. I got the fabric for my headboard. If you guys didn't know, this is um, how I'm doing my headboard to recreate it because I already have like a freaking $300 headboard, you guys. So I'm like, I need to put it to use. And we decided to basically just... Um, Y'all see how hard that is? Recover it with brand new fabric to give it that like neutral look. So we're literally just taking like all of the fabric and kind of just doing it to where it's super tight and freaking shooting it with this gun or whatever. It's already coming together really good. Um, my mom just went to go get more paint for my room. Just gotta like make it everything to the part. And as you can see, I made everything tight. I might just save the ends for when my mom comes. I suck at like wrapping an actual present. Literally take staples and just kind of staple it all along. And this is my headboard. We're redoing this one. My mom has like already started it. Like the one that I just did. And then I have these tinier ones right here to do. I have these big ones, but we don't have enough fabric for them. So we have to get like two or three more yards of fabric, I think. Wanted and super neutral headboard frame and I just literally you guys are like $300 and I'm not gonna keep whatever one I end up like buying so we decided to do the fabric and I feel like this is like hashtag DIY of how you do it at home it's gonna be such a cool process like I said it's Sunday it's about to be three o'clock and we're still working on the headboard this is what the side of my bed like pillars looked like they're almost as tall as me, I guess you could say. So yeah, this is what they looked like. They were black and just a little reaction or whatever. You can literally see like where they stapled it. I'm gonna take my fabric and make sure it's on the soft side because that's the side that we want. I'm gonna take my little bed frame and pop it in to the middle. Both sides are even so that when I fold it, they like, fold over pretty good really trying to figure out on how to do this and like make it look as if we bought a $400 one was really making sure that your fabric is good so we did get our fabric from Hobby Lobby let's stretch it out make sure this is probably the hardest thing is the gun. honestly just getting over on top of it and just kind of stapling it in. And you can honestly follow the seam. I feel like that has like because I know this is where they folded over and stapled for this black fabric you to like make sure that what wasn't gonna be seen these like fold overs of it is on this side because this is the side no one will see. Yeah, I feel like a real like DUI girl right now. This is hashtag a baddie on a budget. So you need to make sure you know where your holes are. A little dot. Tips that I would say to try and like 
figure out what fabric to use and what to make it look best and like as if you bought it it's definitely for sure um getting the right fabric making sure that the fabric doesn't have any stripes or anything because then you do have to follow that pattern completely so i feel like giving it like a very neutral or if you were to just do black and it doesn't have any stripes that would work out so yeah I'm excited. Now I'm just going to wait for my mom to get back. All right, y'all. Mama got the headboard done. Ah, freaking bomb. And now we're going to fold the corners on this one. How oh, it had like the little buttons and stuff. Yeah. I don't even want to add those. I don't want to put any. No, I think I just want it super simple like this. And literally, you guys, it's like wrapping a present. Really, that's the only way to describe it is like wrapping a present. Except for, yeah. Except that this is the hardest part because the corners. if you look, mm -hmm. you can see... <laughs> Yep, this is what it all looks like. Oh. Oh, you don't really. No, yeah. this is the back. This is the so back, so it doesn't matter. If we really have matter. enough fabric, pick. You can whatever pick. Whatever fabric you exactly. want. Exactly. Whatever, whatever color you goes want. goes with your vibe. Like, this is. You guys, this is exactly what I wanted, but I couldn't find one that, like, was, for one, a decent price and, like, the exact color. Like, we literally went through Hobby Lobby and Joann's and we were trying to find oh a certain God. fabric. But all of the fabrics had like a yellow tone to them. Or brown, or too much brown. Too much brown, like they were just, the colors were off and then literally we like last minute found this one and it, I think it came out perfect. Let's see, so we're kind of just gonna do this with all of like the little screws that we need. Yeah, I think one's right here. Y'all, there's gonna be bumps <laughs> like this in the road. Let's see. And then you just cut this little hole to expose it so that when you put the screws in they easily just go in yeah but future if you're doing it the best way to do it is say you have the fabric and you know there's a hole there you before you put your fabric on you're going to cut an x on the fabric mm -hmm. so that when you put it over the hole you just, it goes in like this over the hole so that you don't see it around. Yeah. This, this, you don't see this anyway because it's going to be like flush with the bed. So you're not going to be able to, that's why the seam is in the back. Period. Okay, I'm just stapling, not for looks, right? Just for the purpose of holding the fabric down. And, oh, here, you can, can see, see face, this is what's it. under it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so we're covering those. Which this fabric is so thick that it covered it pretty good. Uh oh, girl, that flew up at you. Reloaded the gun. <laughs> I feel like it was pretty good, like easy to pull it as tight as you needed it to be. Because I measured it. Enough. And I'm folding it kind of like a present. And then I'm gonna put one staple here where you can't see it. I'm gonna do the same thing. Yeah, hold it. And then this guy. Wrapped like a present. Yes. And then we're going to take these. You can get these at freaking Lowe's, Hobby Lobby, yeah. anywhere. It's a decorative nail. It's like a tack, right? Basically. I showed them already, so. And then we're going to put it in the middle. Oof, that's going to be hard. Uh-oh. See that? How pretty? Ah, looks like a million of bucks. Look at that. Ah. All right, y'all. So I am starting on the second one now. This is what the first one is looking like. Everything looks good. That's just some, like, this is just stuff that I can clean up on. Luckily, this is literally like the end. So no one's really going to pay any attention to it. But this is what it's looking like. It looks perfect so now i'm gonna start on this one so a few things that i'm gonna do differently really because this isn't gonna be seen too much and something that like kind of took me the longest time to do was definitely taking like this circle and like doing the method of where i told you where you squeeze it like or sorry 
the circle right here where you um, doing the method of like squeezing it and then making a slit and kind of cutting a hole so that the fabric is still all around that. I really don't need to do that because I can still make it really tight and make sure it's hold um, with only doing it to like having fabric to like right here. So that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to like kind of staple it all down and then cut out these pieces where like um, the little dots are where this is all the parts we have to draw as you can see i made like there's like five or so and then i will make sure to show you guys the technique that i did as far as like folding this over to cover this black and then as you can see there's like holing right here um so i'll also show you guys how i did that because i was a little bit tricky with making sure that this black is like covered on the side so yeah i'm just gonna cut this and then i'll kind of show you guys the cut that I make and everything so you know what to do on your headboard. Okay, you guys, I have this ugly man here. He's so over it. Those two are officially done and now we're on the last part of, um, no, actually we have two more. But this is what I've been doing. I finally started doing this where I cut it out. So that's what I've been doing since this won't be showing. Um, so it'll be easier to put the bed back together. I'm doing a DUI of making this headboard. DUI? Oh. Driving under the influence? DIY. You know what that stands for? Huh? I'm asking you. No. What does it stand for? DIY. Do it at. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. It's I've seen it all over YouTube. Do it yourself. Oh yeah, do it yourself type of vibe. What? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I'm cutting all of these out so that it's easier to put the bed together. All right, here, get the camera. Okay, it's rolling. Okay, you guys, so here's some this. The end of my bed, I have like the little um, things that you stick. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. The things that hold your bed up. So I only have two on the bottom. <laughs> I only have two on the bottom and <laughs> The hole and I'm marking the hole so that my dad instead of me cutting it because this is something where you're gonna see the whole seam um, I'm just gonna have him drill through the fabric so that it just looks like I went and bought it instead of actually making it little dot again really I'm thinking, <laughs> come on this is for DIY people make it make sense oh so good no, it wasn't like, tight right here like and everything is good and this can go right here because clearly you can see that the dots, so this will be easy to put the bed frame back on. Now, I just stapled that so that's like where I know my base is going to be or like I know where I'm going to go from. And then I'm going to continue on like stapling it, but just making sure it's tight. And you know, if you had a boyfriend, unfortunately my boyfriend... I just bought him and he doesn't really know how to work with tools. So if As you have a, a boyfriend child. that works with tools, um, he could probably, you know, pull it tighter, but clearly mine doesn't do that. He doesn't really work you know, you that right. So clearly you can do messy cutting. Like it's fine. This is the bottom of the bed. Ain't nobody the inside here. of the, the bed. Oh yeah, the inside of the bed. See? And staple that. Bob. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Not going. <laughs> I've been afraid of that this whole time. This is really I know it's funny to see how people do it different. I'm really kind of a professional uh a professional present folder. Okay. Thank you. Girl. It's just giving me tension. Stapler is gonna be your best friend. Again? No, try it. No, try it one more time. Trust. Girl, it's out. It did that to me, but then it worked. Yeah, who's right? You are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Babe, what are you doing? Again. So on Again. this side, we're going to go under it so that we don't see the staple. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And then... Mm. You're gonna do one, two, three, right? Okay. 
putting all the parts together. It's What's National Dog Week. It's National Dog Week. Yeah. This is what it's looking like. Mama. Y'all, it is currently... Oh, my phone has been dead for like the past three hours. <laughs> it's 12 o'clock. No way. Power hey guys, team. this is how the headboard came out. It literally looks so amazing. I still have to decorate my whole room, so stay tuned for that video. Um, but you literally cannot tell that I made it. We have these three little dots. Of course, it has its, its little imperfections or whatever, but it still looks so amazing and does the job. Um, I literally love this color and I can, once I'm done with this color, you guys, I can literally change it to a whole new color. And then we have the three right here and this is just how we folded it. So it looks super pretty and nice. The only thing we did mess up on, I messed up on is right here. You can see the staples. I thought it went the other way. I didn't follow the seam. So just follow the seam of your bed. This looks all good. It literally looks like I went and got it done. Um, these used to be black. We dyed them like a gold color. And yeah, the fabric is so soft. It matches with everything. And my baby's comfy, huh? She's so comfy. Overall, you guys, I think everything came out exactly how I want. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> um, literally, it came out so perfect. It came out the exact way that I wanted it to. And I ended up spending like a 100 bucks the most on fabric. It really just depends if you get it on sale um, or whatnot. So I think I got five, six, seven. I got eight yards of the fabric and that covered everything. Um, and I had leftover fabric actually I had three yards left over so technically I used five yards of fabric which is awesome and like I said yeah like from the fraction of what I would have paid on top of already having a good headboard I would have paid like 400 300 dollars when really I only ended up paying a hundred dollars so definitely try this out if you guys have any questions on what I did and if you know like I didn't give you a full understanding of how to do it then just comment down below and I will write you guys back but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you like more videos like this um comment down below if you guys want me to do a decorating my room video because I think that would be fun because I'm decorating and look like I have a whole bunch of blank walls so it's gonna be a really freaking bomb so yeah comment down below and I love you guys